everyone! Today I thought I would do a quick Friday Reads because I haven't filmed in a couple of weeks and I thought I would just catch you up on what I've been doing, which is mostly not reading. So the first week of April, this game came out, a video game called Persona 5. I have been waiting for it for multiple years and it has been delayed multiple times. My heart has been broken repeatedly in the years and months leading up to this game's release because it was originally supposed to come out in 2015 and it is now 2017 and it has had multiple delays in between. So anyway, I had it on pre-order, I started playing it the day it came out and I have tracked an embarrassing number of hours in the game so far. It's been out less than two weeks and I've played about 40 hours, like four zero, which is a little embarrassing but it's literally all I've done except for work and sleep. I've done those three things and I really I've enjoyed every minute. It's basically the perfect game but uh, I should actually probably do other things too. I think I need to just like pull myself away from the game a little bit because it's gonna be over too quickly, I know. So anyway, I have been trying to get back into reading because I basically didn't read for a couple of weeks and I also didn't watch any YouTube for a couple of weeks, which is why it's likely I've been commenting on your two week old videos. And I do really wanna read. I've really been enjoying a couple of things I've been reading lately and I thought I would share them with you. Um, kind of what I'm planning on reading this weekend. The first and most significant thing to share is The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. I've had this for a couple of months and I was putting it off and putting it off and I knew that this would be the book that would make me want to read and it definitely worked. I am a little less than halfway through right now and I'm really enjoying it. The pull for me to get back to this book hasn't been too strong but the second I start reading it I'm just having such a good time. Like there are parts of this book that just make me smile, like actually physically smile while I'm reading and I don't feel like that's a thing that happens very often when I read. Um, not that books don't make me feel things, but I don't usually feel very physically expressive about books that I'm reading, but I've actually caught myself smiling at this book, which is amazing. And it's wonderful. It's actually a book that I've surprisingly enough not tabbed very much. I have one tab in here. And that is because if I were tabbing every passage that I found to be particularly well written or poignant or emotional or anything that I usually tab things for, this book would be tabbed on literally every single page. The writing is impeccable. I'm really loving the characters, particularly Cora. She's awesome. I really hopefully want to finish this this weekend. That is the goal. I am, like I said, only about halfway through and it is over 400 pages, so it will take a while and it will be a commitment to get through. It's taken me quite a while to get as far as I have, so I would like to definitely get back to this. Other things that I've been really excited about, so the same day that Persona 5 came out, Saga Volume 7 came out, but Persona took precedence, so I have not touched this yet, even though I am really excited to. I just feel like I really need to reread Volume 6, which I enjoyed, but it's the only one in the series that I've only read once. And I have this problem with series where I just am worried that I won't remember what exactly was going on. Like, of course, I remember the first, I'd say, four or five volumes pretty vividly, but the happenings in Volume 6 are just not very fresh. So I might read this first and then read seven. I'd really like to do that this weekend as well. And I'm currently also listening to the audiobook version of The Handmaid's Tale, but not the new version that has the extra bonus stuff. I'm not really particularly interested in that, to be honest. And I bought this audio copy of The Handmaid's Tale before that was available. So I'm just listening to the plain old novel narrated by Claire Danes. I don't feel like I'm missing out on any of the bonus content for The Handmaid's Tale. I don't think it's a book that needs a sequel, so I don't really know why there's bonus content. I think it's completely unnecessary and probably just a marketing ploy to garner attention for the new series, but I don't want, I don't need it. So I'm just enjoying listening to the book. This is, I think, my third time reading The Handmaid's Tale, but I wanted to be fresh when uh, the miniseries comes out later this month. It's a surprising experience because I actually remember it really, really vividly, despite the fact that it's been about five years since I read it for the second time. So I'm, I'm really enjoying that and just kind of knowing where it's going and reading it outside of an academic sense because the first time, for the first two times I've read it, we're both for classes. And the audiobook is really good. I do wish it was narrated by Elizabeth Moss, who is going to be playing Alfred in the series, but that's okay. And then after that, I don't really know what I want to read. I have a stack of like 10 books that I'm really excited about in general, but only a couple of them are really piquing my interest right now. I feel like myself gravitating very strongly toward realist literary fiction, which is a very weird thing for me to want to read right now. I'm not really feeling fantasy or sci-fi or anything fabulous. I, I just really want to read realist literary fiction, family stuff, about relationships, nothing weird or crazy. So I'm maybe going to pick up a song for Izzy Bradley. I just got that in the mail not too long ago. 
or perhaps The Handsworth Times, which was one of the Mothbox books that I have yet to read. Um, so we'll see what I read next. I also really hope to film a video review of The Vegetarian, which I read a couple weeks ago. Still, I think want to collect my thoughts better, but I am interested in filming a video review despite the fact that basically everyone has already reviewed it. I'm probably one of the last people to do so but I do still kind of want to do it anyway. So I might do that. Um, I have a couple other videos that I want to get out very shortly. I want to be filming and uploading consistently again. I just needed to let Persona take over my life for a little while because it was a really big deal that it was finally in my hands. And it's, I guess I, it's basically the perfect game, so I'm not let down at all. I just, I'm gonna be sad when it's over. But video games aside, I do hope to do some reading this weekend. I'd really love to know what you are reading this weekend, your thoughts on any of the books that I mentioned in this video. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.